Hi everybody, this is 3-3 readings and this reading is going to be for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mercury, North Node, whatever placement you want uh, you want to watch it for, you can. And, um, yep. If you're a cross watcher, the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. Oh my god, okay, Gemini, are you walk? Ooh, you seem to be disinterested in somebody here. Gemini. I feel like you're taking a step back. Like, look look at what the cards are telling right off the bat. Is that you're making your own decisions. You've taken your life pretty much in your own hands. And you're like, you know what? I'm going to make my own decision. And I'm going to see what works for me and what doesn't. And I'm going to do it just like that. So that's what I'm getting. You've definitely taken a step back from somebody here. Um, could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Here's the Osage. You're walking away. I feel like you feel extremely burdened. Like there was a connection or there was a situation where you were the one uh, putting in a lot of effort and the other person wasn't. So you feel like basically you were the one doing all the work here. And you're walking away. You're definitely taking a step back or walking away from something. Okay. Let's see though. What are the messages for Gemini? Let's give it a shuffle. And see what are the messages for Gemini? What are the messages? Last shuffle and let's see. Okay. Yeah, look at that. There's that energy of you doubting a connection or doubting something like um even asking yourself possibly is it even worth it what i'm doing there's a lot of confusion or like <clears throat> feeling like your emotions are going up and down quite frequently um <clears throat> and now that it's gemini season happy birthday gemini okay um i definitely do see that um there's like um Like feeling a certain way one day and then feeling the other the other day, you know what I mean? So feeling two types of things together is what I'm getting. Okay. Yeah. Okay, there's a card that flipped. Yeah, look at that. Something for you is over or close to being over maybe. Um, yeah. I feel like you feel very, very burdened and you, yeah, you're, you're, Gemini, you're closing off to somebody. You're closing off to somebody. You are. There's like a sense of clarity. I feel like you're cutting somebody off from your life as well. There's a sense of clarity that you're gaining. You're like, I know what I want and I will do this. There's like, things are becoming clearer to your or there could be something that was revealed to you about this person that you're dealing with. Okay, one more card for Gemini, please. Could be a third party situation that you got to know about that the person you were dealing with had a third party situation. So you kind of distance yourself or you're trying to distance yourself. You're, you're seeming very retracted in your energy. So you're not giving into this. Okay, let's see. Let's see, Gemini. Okay, yeah, kind of want to give it another shuffle. Um, somebody in this relationship is sneaky as hell. Like, I am seeing that. Very sneaky energy. Feeling like um, deceived, you know? Like, somebody deceived you. And the problem here is the lack of honesty. So somebody wasn't uh, completely honest with their feelings. And they definitely did something here that was hurtful to you or that was questionable, at least, you know. Let's see. How does this person view the situation 
with Gemini. How does this person view the situation with Gemini? Ten of Wands. They do see that you're walking away or choosing to walk away, Gemini. They do see that. Okay. And now that you're leaving, they want to, like, come back? King of Pentacles. I feel like, Gemini, this person's realizing in your absence, they're realizing that maybe you are the one for them because the King of Pentacles, King of Cups together could be Earth sign or Water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag is here too. Could be any sign though, but just what I'm getting is that um, this person is kind of like missing you and realizing that what they had with you was very stable. So what was the point of choosing a third party over you? Like, I don't really understand. They definitely did, they definitely did something sneaky here. Okay. What actions this person is going to be taking towards Gemini? Okay. The strength could be dealing with a Leo. What actions this person is going to be taking towards Gemini? Page of Swords. Oh my God. Okay. There you go. There are a lot of cards for their actions. I feel like they're coming back, Gemini. They are. Seriously, they're coming back. But you know what the problem is? I feel like this person keeps tabs on you. Okay, they stalk you. I, I am kind of getting that. They're wondering where are where are you? Why haven't you communicated and stuff like that? You're trying to process your emotions and this person's keeping an eye on you. Like, what are you doing in the meantime that you two are not talking? You know? Um, yeah, look at look at these three cards. I do I do like strongly see a comeback around over here. Okay. I do see somebody coming back like look at that somebody's coming back somebody is wanting to have another chance with you point blank period okay there's going to be communication you will hear from this person like that's on period <laughs> point blank period gemini you're going to hear from this person you know why because this person's kind of like wait a minute you know let me try if i still got this person so they're gonna shoot their shot <laughs> seriously that's what i'm getting and this person oh i'm also getting this person keeps tabs on you and holds back at the same time so they have a, they have this really awful habit of not when you are with this person they're not very appreciative of you but when you're away from them is is when they realize what your worth is so what is that about like what <sighs> Somebody emailed me, <laughs> side note, somebody emailed me and they said that I ask you questions in my readings, right? Like, what, why is this happening or what is this person like? Why did you do this? Why did you do that? And they were like, I cannot answer you the questions you ask during your readings. And, you know, I don't mean to like confuse you guys, but what I ask you for is you need to ask yourself certain questions, you know, that why were you dealing with somebody like that or why were you so like into this person when this person showed you so many red flags you know you have to ask yourself these questions because that's how you recognize you know how are you taking this relationship with this person and how is this person coming towards you you know it is just to give you clarity my questions um are just to give you more clarity you know <clears throat> so yeah I feel like Gemini, you're all, already in that mode, okay? You kind of already are working towards that. You kind of are already, like, asking yourself, why did I deal with this person in the first place, okay? Why did I give in so much when this is what I got in return, okay? You kind of already are in that energy because there's, like, um, ups and downs of emotions that I see for you, okay? And you're trying your best to... Um, you're trying your best to process your emotions so that you don't kind of like um come off as um impulsive so you want to make the best decision possible either letting it go or you know giving it another chance whatever you want to do you you'll think about it, you know what i mean but for the most part letting is go letting it letting it go is on your mind for the most part you know that I should maybe let this go, that maybe I should release this burden, you know. Yeah. 
So this person seems to be coming back to get another chance with you or to try it with you to see if they got you is what I'm getting. And they keep, uh, they keep tabs on you, okay? This person keeps tabs on you on social media and stuff if you've got them. I do see that. Let's see. I kind of think that you have your back turned, Gemini. I kind of think that you have your back turned. Hi, Priestess. You're pretty silent. You are pretty silent. Um, I don't think you're giving into this. Gemini. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Let me say the signs. We have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo evidently here, and Pisces evidently here. Okay? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is here too. Could be any sign. Yeah, look at that judgment. I feel like you're deciding. And you're taking your sweet time to decide. Okay, Gemini? Decisions, decisions, and decisions on your part. Like, this person's going to come back, but the final decision to do this or not is going to be yours. Okay? And that's amazing because you're taking your time. You're being very, very silent. Some of you are trusting your intuition. Some of you are doing that self-work, you know, really going within yourself and asking yourself, do I want this? Because you feel extremely hurt. And that's the reason my, why you're being silent is because you got hurt and you're trying to make a decision to let it go. You, you really are, honestly. Okay. Let's see. Okay rushing in to communicate with you look at that oh my god while you seem to be a little bit guarded up um yeah they are rushing in to communicate with you no doubt about that you feel like this person kept you in the dark about the situation and you feel like there wasn't enough emotional fulfillment for you in this connection i am getting that look at this they are rushing in to communicate with you for sure like look at that look at that okay so i do see this person's going to be communicating with you this person's going to be um yeah point blank period they're going to be communicating with you gemini and for some of you this person's very in and out of your life as well so they tend to make very like impulsive decisions but you have to be careful because as soon as it starts it can end too knight of swords is like very very like i have to do this i have to do this and then that can result in disappointments as well if you give into this i feel like they're really trying to control themselves honestly because they keep tabs on you um all in all, I do see communication happening here, Gemini, okay? I do see communication. Let's see. What are the romance, angel, or coast saying for Gemini? What are the romance, angel, or coast saying for Gemini? What are the romance, angel, or Same for Gemini. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. On your side, you get unrequited love. Yeah, you do feel like you love this person way too much and then they did. There, there does seem to be a third party situation. On their uh, part, they get heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss <clears throat> your feelings with each other. Yeah. I feel like they really want to talk. Let's get you one more card. Okay. Oh my God. Deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. That's completely up to you to decide, okay? But there does seem to be something wrong with this person. They did something hurtful to you and that's the reason why you feel like your love wasn't well reciprocated is because they gave you a reason to doubt that, okay? I do see them rushing in to communicate with you to act very sweet towards you, but there's still deception there. So do what you gotta do, Gemini. I know that you're taking a step back. Do that if, you know, that's the best thing for you to do. 
All right, Gemini, so that was your reading. If you liked this reading, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified whenever I upload. Um, yeah, for personals, you can check out the description for the details. Take care and bye-bye.